up guys this is little teddy with little teddy fragrances we're back here with another quick review and this one is from the house of gallagher i actually just got this one in but i've had this scent uh, via a decamp for quite some time and ran through that so i had to pick up the full bottle and this is none other than gallagher's bergamus this one is a knockout guys it doesn't get talked about enough i was actually put on to this fragrance by kevin samuels uh, who you might have heard of he said to get bergamus and I, and I went and got the sampler pack and man, this one is a hitter. So overall, I give this one a nine out of 10. This one is fabulous. And we're gonna talk, I'm gonna tell you in a second why it's a nine out of 10. Just give myself a spray there. And just to get into the smell, um, you do of course get a lot of bergamot, a very fresh fragrance, but it, it definitely has some twist to it that you can tell that this is a niche fragrance. It's very nicely put together. You get cedar, or what I get is mostly cedar, uh, bergamot, and some, some musty type of qualities. And what I think makes it so nice is the cedar and the bergamot with the, with the, with the must or the muskiness is so nicely balanced. Everything is just real nice and even. And overall, the projection and longevity is just fabulous. So a 9 out of 10, guys. This one uh, is not talked about enough, as I said. The ones that are, are talked about quite uh, a lot from this uh, house is Rosé All Day and Amongst Waves. Amongst Waves, actually, I will say, probably performs better than this. But the melon note, I'm just not a fan too much of melon. And this one surprised me because I'm actually not a super fan of, of bergamot. I like warmer weather fragrances, but I needed something I could wear in this Las Vegas heat as it gets warmer here in 2021. And this one, man, it, it reminds me of something that Tom Ford could have made, like a a new version of kind of like gray vetiver. Not that it has vetiver in it, but it has that professionalism, that, that masculine, just professional, educated person type of smell, if you understand what I'm saying. I wouldn't recommend this to younger people. They could wear it. Um, I would say 25 and up if you want to, you know, but teenagers could wear this as well. It's just a very sophisticated summertime uh, fragrance. It's very well put together and I just appreciate it. I had to get the 100 mil bottle. I was going to get um, the 30 mil, but once I sniffed my decan again, it actually gave it a full wearing. I had to go in. So uh, the Gallagher, a uh, brand just recently moved. So they had a sale and I got this 30% off, I believe around there, 33% off. And so I went with it, the 100 mil bottle. But yeah, you can wear this in the office. It's very fresh. It's, it's quite masculine to me. And it's very invigorating. It has a lot of energy and, and it's very um, addictive. Like you wanna wear this quite often and it doesn't it doesn't tire you out. It's one of those fragrances where everything just kind of came together. Now, of course, not to give this, you know, a perfect rating. I gave it a 9 out of 10. I I guess you could say um, it's a little bit simple. It's not not that I think not that I think they could have put something else in this fragrance, but you know, it it, it wows me. It's a very it's a great fragrance, but it's not something that literally blew my socks off, but as far as everything else, projection, longevity, the smell, you know, um, I wouldn't wear this for a night out. I think it's a little too plain Jane for that. I have other fragrances, even for the summertime that I would wear uh, a night out, you know, during the summertime. But this man, for a daily driver, um, or, you know, just like going for, you know, going out to eat brunch with friends, you know, wearing a nice silver suit, you know, come up, uh, Maybe after work, you go to eat with some friends and you're just wearing, you know, something a little bit rapper dapper. This one is fantastic. 100 degree weather. I'm definitely wearing this here in Las Vegas. It's a great scent. There is a dryness about it. Almost not, not herbal, but maybe it has the orange blossom and the ambroxan in it. I'll definitely put the uh, notes there so you can see and check it out. But this one is fabulous. It definitely kind of, uh, suited exactly what I needed. I wanted something like a summer, freshy, 
uh, but a niche quality. I didn't want something, you know, like Dior Sauvage or YSL, YADP, you know, which is kind of, you know, it doesn't have, you know, anything special about it. Even though this fragrance is simple, it's still special. It definitely has a nicheness and a, and a quality to it that I think that I really appreciate. So anyways, nine out of 10, this, this is one I think I can see Bruce Wayne wearing uh, in the summertime. This isn't something Batman would wear. It doesn't kick that much, but, but it's definitely, I think, something Bruce Wayne could wear, you know, going out to lunch, you know, or whatever he, he needs to do during the daytime. So anyways, enough talking. That's my uh, review for this fragrance. Check out their other fragrances. They have a new one uh, that they just announced on their Instagram. You can check that out on Gallagher uh, Fragrances Instagram. I'm not exactly sure what the handle is for their company, but check that one out when it comes out supposedly in May, and I'll be making sure to check it out as well. So anyways, this is Little Teddy with Little Teddy Fragrances signing out. Peace.